as a Canadian, there are only a couple things that I can definitively point to and say that that's Canadian. For some obvious examples, we've got hockey, Ryan Reynolds, Nanaimo bars, maple syrup, lacrosse. But there are a few things that cut below the surface that I think a few of my fellow Canadians will react to. For example, my fellow 90s Canadians, do you remember the house hippo? The North American house hippo is found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. House hippos are very timid creatures and are rarely seen, but they will defend their territory if provoked. Or that one commercial of the kid chasing the Pokemon card that got super winded. When I was a child, these things were very familiar to me and I didn't realize just how Canadian they were. But there was one program that I never had any doubt about just how Canadian it was. Canadian Heritage Minutes. For those who aren't aware, Canadian Heritage Minutes are these short, dramatic films about 60 seconds long that usually would have appeared on ad breaks on television. They incorporated Canadian history into dramatic storylines that helped educate the general public about Canadian history. Nowadays, these Heritage Minutes take their place as the epitome of 1990s Canadian television. If you remember seeing these back in the 90s or in the 2000s, uh, let me know which one you saw that just got repeated constantly when you were watching TV. For me, it was the one of Jacques Cousteau pulling all of the fish out of the harbor, and I just got absolutely sick of it. <laughs> These informative little videos were originally created by Charles Bronfman in 1986, after his foundation conducted a national survey. It revealed that less than half of the people who took part in the survey could name the first Prime Minister of Canada, and about 25% couldn't even name a Canadian historical event or anything that could kind of instill a sense of national pride. In an attempt to remedy this and educate the general public, Charles Bronfman set out to create these history-focused public service announcements that ran about the same length as some of the longer TV commercials of the time. Today, they have grown beyond their humble origins of the 1990s television ad breaks and are actually on YouTube, still being produced. These minutes have become such a staple of Canadian culture that the format with the border and everything has become something very common to be parodied. Canadian shows like the Rick Mercer Report and even the Canadian version of RuPaul's Drag Race have used this format to talk about trending or historical events. Dr. Wilma Hennyfield drew the roadmap of the drag brain. She cured dozens of drag queen related ailments, including the Shablams. As they search for a conservative mole in their midst. Did we get really drunk last night and post an anti-military ad on the website? Rob Ford went on to become the 64th mayor of Toronto, a stain in the city's history. While it does work as a meme format, people have also taken it seriously and edited people or events that they believe deserve to be immortalized in these Canadian Heritage Minutes. For example, if you type Canadian Heritage Minutes into Google, you find an image of Gord Downey, the late singer of an iconic Canadian band known as the Tragically Hip, at one of his final performances photoshopped into the format. One thing I would really like to drive home about these minutes is just how important these are slash were for Canadian culture. As illustrated by Bronfman's survey, there hasn't been a lot of interest in Canadian history. We aren't like the Americans who had a spicy civil war, but there are a ton of different periods in Canada's history that are really, really interesting. And I'm not just talking about Canada's colonial history, but I'm also talking about the First Nations history that goes back even thousands of years further than the measly 150 and change years that Canada's been around. And for the 1990s, they were actually surprisingly diverse. They didn't just talk about white settler colonial history in Canada, they also looked at the experiences of Chinese Canadians and First Nations people. It was something that I think a lot of people could see themselves reflected in, which is obviously very important. As a result, if you love history, there's a ton of stuff here that is really interesting that you should look into. And a great place to start is the Canadian Heritage Minutes. <laughs> In general though, this to me is the spirit of the Canadian Heritage Minutes because it's all about trying to educate people and get people excited about their culture and their history. Just as like a closing note, I think that these are absolutely fantastic ways to get introduced to Canadian history if you're not Canadian or if you are and just want to try and learn a little bit more about this great place that we live in. If you are a Canadian or if you live in Canada and remember seeing these or have actively watched them recently, 
Let me know which one was your favorite. I'd love to hear people's experiences with these and how it's kind of tied into their own notions of what Canadian culture is. So definitely uh, leave a comment about that if you have that experience. If not, talk about the spicy American Civil War. I don't know. But thanks for watching and getting to the end of this little rambly video and I'll see you next time. This is my new production assistant. He hasn't done any work since I got him.